Ryan Johnson, head of marketing for AskMen.com, on their 99 hottest women. Come on. <laughs> Ryan, Hi. welcome to the Young Turks. How's it going, Jenks? Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, listen, first, Ryan, before we get to the top ten, um, obvious question is, how did you guys make this decision? Is Was it like three guys around the office going, oh, yeah, yeah, pretty hot, pretty hot? Or how, how did it work? Actually, no, it's, you know, it's, it's a list we've done every year since uh, 2002. And what we do is we put together a list of nominees, about 200 women, and that happens in the late fall. And uh, then we put them up on our site, and we ask our readers um, to vote on them in terms of desirability. And it's not just like, you know, how a woman looks. It's we're ask, actually asking them, you know, um, what they think, you know, which woman they think would make an ideal companion. Mm. Um, Don't it. <laughs> and so uh, six million votes were cast. She's in Lord Mercy. That's a lot of votes, isn't it? That's a lot of votes. And uh, then we, we have, obviously, our uh, poll in the office, great debate in the office in terms of, you know, what, who we're all voting for. And uh, then the list goes live. It's a combination of the two. Okay, I got you. And, uh, but uh, when you say companion, you mean comp was it clarified companion for a night or companion for a lifetime? Or what are we talking <laughs> about here? What we were getting at was, you know, someone you want to bring home to mom. You know, an ideal companion for, for life. Oh, okay, all right. That's interesting. That changes the equation a little bit. <laughs> okay, so now let's do the top ten, okay? Uh, and I haven't seen these yet, so let's go in reverse order, okay? Uh, give me number ten. All right, so number ten we've got um, Miranda Kerr. And Miranda Kerr is a Victoria's Secret model mm -hmm. from Australia. Right. Um, for nine, we've got Eva Mendez. I'm sure everyone knows uh, who Eva Mendez is. All right, let's pause for a second. All right, the first girl, yeah, whatever, Victoria's Secret model, they all look the same. It's fine, fine. God bless. Go forward, but I'm, you know, I'm not overly impressed. Eva Mendez, uh, too low. Too low, I said it. And you know what? She was actually our number one last year. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, should she, be. Yeah, she was our number one last year. She got a lot of votes, but just didn't, didn't make it into the upper... Well, I mean, she's in the top ten, but, you know. Right. Just, wow, that's surprising. That's a, that's an unfortunate fall for uh, probably the sexiest woman alive. There, I said it. <laughs> All right, let's go on to number eight. So we've got Cheryl Cole, and uh, you might not know that name. She's um, basically um, the, the, I don't want to say the replacement for the Spice Girls, but the biggest, you know, part of the biggest female supergroup in Britain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We've got Pen Penelope uh, Cruz at seven. Yeah, here's what I'm not buying. That all right. That that British girl between Eva Mendez and Penelope Cruz. Yeah. Really? I think she's really beautiful. I, I think she's cute as a button. I think she's terrific, right? But I mean, come on, Eva Mendez, Penelope Cruz. I mean, they got to be much. I think they're they're schooling her. They're taking her to work and <laughs> dropping her off at the kids' yeah, place. You know. Uh, so all right, but Penelope Cruz, you know, kicking ass. Number six. I I think she might be. Should be top five too, but I, so now you got me curious about the top five. Who's fifth? Okay, so number five. So so I gave you Beyonce, right? Beyonce was six. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Beyonce is number six. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, five was Jessica Alba. Um, mm, four four you know, was Al sorry. Four was Alessandra Ambrosio. Okay, let's again pause. <laughs> okay, let's okay. pause. Uh, I, Beyonce's too high. Jessica Alba, everybody loves her, so she's top five. I got no problems. I, she's not my thing, but whatever, right? So, uh, now, who is this fourth girl? What, what's her story? Alessandra Ambrosio. She's a Victoria's Secret model from oh, Brazil. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, look, I don't get guys, right? I mean, I get them, but she's gorgeous, uh, undeniably gorgeous. But she looks like every other blonde, gorgeous Victoria's Secret model. Okay, so she's brunette, right? I mean, so, I don't know. Like, I can't tell her apart from any of them. <laughs> I think it's crazy. G give me some character, man. Move Eva back up. All right, I'm feeling robbed by this. All right, let's go to number three. All right, so number three, we've got Kate Beckinsale. What do you think about Kate? Well, you know what? I've always thought she was gorgeous, and I always thought that she didn't get enough credit. And I'm, but I'm surprised at this late date that she's surging again. So, okay, she was underrated before. Maybe at number three she's a little overrated this day and age, but I'll take it. You know, it's a makeup call. <laughs> so um, number two, mm -hmm. we've got Marissa Miller. Victoria's, again, another Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> Apparently, guys want to bring Victoria's Secret models home to mom. You know who she looks like? She looks like the combination of the other Victoria's Secret model and um, Aaron Andrews from ESPN. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you that see what I'm true. saying? That is true. Yeah, you're onto something. Is there any peephole video of her or no? 
Uh, no, no peephole video of her. Oh, okay. That's Aaron right. Andrews is on this list, by the way, but she's down at uh, she's at fourteen. Oh, 14. Not bad. Not bad. Representing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you ready for number one? Oh, I'm, yeah. Born ready. Okay. So, Emmanuel Shrieky from Entourage. What? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You're talking about how you want character and someone who looks a little different. She has character and she's totally different from everyone else on the list. Okay. First of all, you're 100% right. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I really like her. Okay. And I'm I'm glad she's getting good hype, okay. And when I saw her in Entourage, I was like, man, she's she's so my type, okay. Mm -hmm. But number one in the world? No, that's overstating it, dude. And you know, you know what's really funny is, um, um, yeah, we were surprised. Um, but Megan Fox, who was on the top of a bunch of lists last year, and she was actually our number two um, last year, was down at number eleven. Mm-hmm. Which was was yeah. interesting. Just just that drop. Yeah, you know why? But you know why people are tired of her. You know. Well, like, that's what we were. You know, we were saying the same thing. You know, she's just getting a lot of exposure. And um, yeah, I was never into Megan Fox. I mean, she's beautiful, beautiful. But you you know my thought on that. I'd rather have some character. So I mean, if you told me the girl who's number one, the Entourage girl this year, okay, or Megan Fox, I'd go Entourage girl in a second for my yeah. personal taste, right? But I I can't believe. I mean, that's a shocker, man. The, the office had to go crazy when that was announced. You know, it's always it's it's always creates a big debate. Uh, last year was the Megan Fox debate. You know, we had Evan Mendez and, and Megan Fox at, at one and two. Um, but uh, you know, we were kind of the Emmanuel Shrieky thing. You know, we were down with. We're we're big Entourage fans here, and there's the famous you know threesome episode from Entourage that everyone remembers, and uh, and so we were pretty happy with this choice. All right, God bless. It's a you know good fodder for conversation, no question. Uh, I, I'm going to take it you know tonight. I'm going to talk to some folks about. It. I'm like, can you believe that shrieky, shrieky? Okay, so Ryan, thanks a lot for coming on. Of course, head of marketing for AskMen.com. Everybody can check out the whole list of the 99 women on AskMen.com. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Thank you very much.